Okay, in this example I'm going to do one more problem where we find the difference quotient of a function. So here we have the function 2x squared minus x plus 5. Uh, you know, maybe a little, little more tedious, but hopefully it won't be too bad. So again, if we figure out f of x plus h, so f of x plus h, again, if this is my function f of x, to get f of x plus h, um, we would simply take 2 times x plus h quantity squared. We would subtract away the quantity x plus h, and then have plus 5 left over. Um, I'm going to go ahead and simplify this down a little bit. So x plus h squared would be x plus h times x plus h. I'm going to distribute the negative in the middle, so that would give me negative x minus h plus 5. Okay, so I'm going to distribute out the x plus h and the x plus h. So x and x is x squared. x times h is xh plus another um, hx. So we would have two of those hx's. We have positive h and positive h, which would be positive h squared. And then we still have negative x minus h plus 5. So if we distribute to the brackets, we'll get 2x squared plus 4hx plus 2h squared minus x minus h plus 5. And now I'm kind of looking for some like terms to simplify and combine. I don't really see a lot to do, so I'm just going to kind of leave it like that for the moment. Okay, so maybe we can plug everything in here. Um, when we do our difference quotient, f of x plus h minus f of x over h, so we just figured out the value for f of x plus h. It's, it's all this big, long bunch of stuff. So we'll get 2x squared plus 4hx plus 2h squared minus x minus h plus 5. And then it says you have to subtract away the original function f of x. Well, again, the original function f of x was 2x squared uh, minus x plus 5. And again, it's all of that being divided by h. Okay, well, let's see what happens here. So uh, we've got 2x squared plus 4hx plus 2h squared minus x minus h plus 5, so I'm just rewriting everything. If we distribute the negative, we'll get negative 2x squared. Two negatives will make a positive x, and then we'll get a negative 5 all over h. And now I'm going to try to collect uh, my like terms here. So it looks to me like we've got a, a 2x squared and a negative 2x squared, so those are going to cancel. Um, let's see, we've got a 4hx. I don't see any other hx's in there, so so that nothing's going to happen to that term. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that one down, 4hx. So now that's gone. We've got 2h squared. I don't see any other h squared terms, so I'm going to write that one down. Um, we've got a negative x and a positive x, so the negative x and the positive x would just cancel out. Um, we've got a negative h, but I don't see any other just h's in there, so I'm going to write him down. And then notice we have a positive 5 and a negative 5, so that also cancels out. So it looks like the numerator just simplifies to 4hx plus 2h squared minus h. That's all being divided by h. But now what we can do, we can actually do a little bit more simplification, because notice everything in the numerator has an h in it. So I can actually factor that h out. And then I would have 4x plus 2h minus 1. Notice if you distribute all of that back out, we'll get the numerator, uh, divided by h. And now I can simply cancel out the h's, and I'm just going to be left with 4x plus 2h minus 1. And that's now going to be the simplified difference quotient to that original given function.